apparently uh, they don't know that they have to get their announcements done yet, Frank. Uh, the, the announcer's like, can you guys just go back to your corner for two seconds? Just <laughs> あかこだ。シャープ中枢させち。92.96。イ。プロハスター。この試合は大事。MVP の動画です。No。両者の応援に注意。Okay. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 But has Yuri's had an incredible, incredible run going on right now, and literally one of the next guys that they that, that could be a superstar here in Japan if he wins this fight tonight. Um, uh, Carl, on the other hand, just because no one really knows him that much, because he only has seven fights, it's very difficult to say what he can do with him. Both these guys are, are super slick fighters, fantastic. Look for Yuri's jumping knees. Look for Albertson to try and close the distance, get this one down. It is. This is exactly what Albertson wanted. He wanted to get this fight down to the ground. And he's got plenty of time. Plenty of time here to suck the wind out of Prohaska. Slowly but surely, methodically move up the guard, move past the half guard, trying to get the side controller into mount. Carl does not have a very tight game on top. It's a very strong game, though. He's very, he's got a lot of leverage, a lot of flexibility with his top game. But he's not like a smothering top guy that, that's going to suck a lot of energy out from you. But what he does do very well, he's very sneaky with his punches. He'll all of a sudden rotate his shoulder over, and he's catching the top of the head, or he's throwing a, a, an elbow in. So you can't ever rest. Even though you're not being crushed and being smothered, you can't rest down here because he's going to hit you with something that's going to either cut you or do a lot of damage. Here he's got to get his legs involved. He wants to get out of this. He's, right now his feet are in the air. He's, he doesn't have anything planted. Oh, fighter or doing the intros. Elbows are allowed. Both, both fighters have agreed to elbows in this one. And, and to be honest, we've had a lot of fighters tonight agreed for elbows. We really haven't seen that much damage done with elbows at all. Um, obviously, under under Japanese uh, uh, MMA rules, you know the head stops and second kicks. We haven't seen very we haven't many. Seen tonight, you're right. We saw the one knee for the finish uh, yeah. uh, earlier, but it was already done before the knee even came in. Came in the factor, um, and the knee barely didn't really land that well. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, um, Asakura knew it was already done and didn't throw full force into it. So there we go. Prohaska gets out a good job defending himself down there. Four and a half minutes to go. In the opening round here, he was able to survive what Albertson wanted to do with this fight was to get it down to the ground and punish Yuri. Didn't do much punishing, in my opinion, Frank. And now no, it's really time didn't. for Prohaska to really pick up the pace here, try and get this finished the stand up, which is where he wants it. Bobbing and weaving is Prohaska. As is Albertson. Trying to ensure that this is not a target you're going to hit. It's a moving target. Respect those Prohaska. I went to throw a kick or a knee and kind of hit the groin. And, you know, Carl shook it off. A little high in that body lock. It's a mistake for Hosko when he does strike in that manner to get too close to Albertson because Albertson wants the double underhooks, wants to clinch. Prohaska is such a long fighter. He's so tall. 
He needs to use his length a lot more. He's really not using his length. He's really trying to step inside because he is explosive. He is strong. But he needs to use a lot more of, of his length in this position because if you let a Carl on the inside, he's going to take you down again. Oh, wow. Lazy. I like those lazy kicks. You don't know where they're coming from. The timing is generally off, and boom, shit across the head. But here's Alderson oh, saying, you're not oh. doing that again. We're going to the ground. I thought uh, Yuri was going to be able to keep moving. Every time Yuri tries to get out of half guard, he puts him back There's in the half guard. There's some fists. There oh. we go. There's some shots being landed there. Now we got the elbows that Frank Trey was mentioning. Why he stopped, I don't know, for the position, but he could have kept going, Frank. Absolutely. I mean, oh. Good job by Yuri to keep getting out of there. Fantastic job by Prohaska. And now there's, oh, there was the jumping knee attempt there that was mentioned. Nice left hook landed by Albertson now. Uh -oh, 20 oh. seconds ago, he drops him. Prohaska drops him. Uppercut. 15 seconds to go in the opening round. Picking up the pace is Prohaska. Bobbing and weaving his head is Albertson. Taking the shots. Hair flying uh -oh. everywhere. It's Down it. It's he over. Goes. It's the over. The referee says that is enough. Right before the final bell, Prohaska, after surviving the ground and pound on the ground, emerges victorious to defeat Carl Albertson wow. with seconds to go in the opening yeah. round. That's incredible. He was completely getting schooled on the bottom, was in a very bad position, never allowed any kind of damage to come down there. And when the damage did come, he took advantage of it because when someone sits up, he's been holding you for all this time, he sits up, gives you damage, he's now let you go. And usually what happens is everyone starts to panic and they get punched and they get elbowed and then you jump back down and hold him again. The moment he was able to sh shift the position, once he got a little bit of damage done to him from the top side, he moved himself out of it. Thank all of God's guys. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for supper. It was hard, like I thinking this fight, but yeah, must be hard. Thanks for everything. Good, good, good ground from Carl, but winner is I, winner am I, <laughs> thanks, and say hello to Prokop, thanks for everything, Grizzly, let's go, let's go